Time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Hello? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library.
Buy me out with this bribe. This sublime. God damn you, Delta! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You... You don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I will go outside. I will live outside. Eleanor's condition may be a blessing in disguise. Early splicing tests indicate zero genetic damage due to her condition as a little sister. It appears that she is our new vessel. This will be no mere personality schism, though. Rapture's genius will be held within her DNA, able to shift into desired patterns at will. A utopian cannot be confined to a single throw of the genetic dice. When needed, she is a composer, a dancer, an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter.